Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know my videos have been kind of all over the place. I am, um, I'm struggling a little bit because I love to share and I love to connect with people. And um, I love sharing about like my MS and autoimmune disease and all the things because I think it's great. Uh, the more information and things we can share, the better. So I just got back from Aldi. I'm doing another mini Aldi grocery haul. Aldi has just been has just been amazing for our family for staying in budget and for having options so many good options so I like to share them with you so that maybe it can inspire you to try different new things <laughs> little, little buddy he's having his downtime and um, just to see what kind of things you can cook up in the kitchen that are keto that are simple easy and delicious so all right, here is what I'm gonna share. So you can see we don't have a, a huge spread, but it's enough, right? Because I also do have stuff at home here uh, to utilize, but we're gonna start off with some coconut milk, which is great for baking and all the things. I've got some almond milk that's unsweetened vanilla. So you can see that, let me see here, like sugar, less than one gram of sugar. So that is great. Two carbs, but it's one gram of fiber. So really it's only one carb per serving so I mean I got it, when we're, good job <laughs> so not bad um, I did get some bone broth because uh, that's always great for cooking you can never go wrong with that and we have here heavy whipping cream same deal the cream cheese sour cream I know we're not supposed to totally rely on dairy but it is a big help for flavor and for the fats so that's what we're rolling with okay let's see here shrimp i have just been loving shrimp lately i can't get enough of it it's so quick and easy to thaw or cook up and it takes on so many great flavors so i love this and i only got one bag this time because i already have another bag in my freezer so that will be a yummy meal and i will talk about what i'm going to make with that later so blueberries blueberries are fantastic for multiple sclerosis or anything to do with the brain um there are studies that are showing that um blueberries are helpful to repair myelin damage or even some brain damage so blueberries are always a hot ticket here um eggs 99 cents a carton we always get end up getting four because let's face it we go through quite a bit of them i scored this honk of beef for a good price i got five and a half pounds for 12 bucks can't go wrong we are a family of five and so we will go through that and i'm gonna make some freezer meals ahead of time so that um you know during the week i don't have to do too much to um, exhaust my energy with so um, if you know people with MS autoimmune disease we like to hang on to the energy that we have so very little of so um, and then zucchini zucchini is a big staple in the house we create it into noodles or just um, we grill it we saute it it's just a great filler great for the body so we always get a couple packs of that Oh, and Mr. Ranch back there. Here you go. Um, so yeah, celery is great for keto. Got some green onions. Um, we got these for snacks, like the summer sausage for the kids. Those are always great. Um, some frozen mixes of berry blends. More blueberries, right? So, and I've actually started doing um, some keto smoothies um, out of the blueberries because I was kind of missing some fruit. And so that was a great way for me to kind of get through that um you have some cabbage here unfortunately i wasn't able to get away from plastic packaging but sometimes you know you do what you got to do and there are places there's a place around town where i can actually recycle this and bring that there so i always have a big bag <laughs> going into that facility drop it off same with here with the broccoli broccoli's great and we will be we will be recycling this as well. Got some romaine there. I love these little cucumbers. They are the bomb.com. They are so crunchy and good. They're nice, like, you know, sometimes you just want to crunch. You want, you want something good, but you're also trying to stay within your means according to your macros and your health plan. So these are awesome. And last but not least, Hi, we have. Really not like those. Oh. 
Oh, well, we have a sassy toddler on our hands. Caesar kit. I know this isn't the greatest option, but you know, sometimes you have to dirty keto it. But you know, when it comes down to it, look, there's one gram of sugar, uh, six carbs, two grams of fiber. So really it's only four carbs per two and a half cups of salad. So I'm like, you can't go wrong with that, right? And then where's the fats? 14 grams of fat, so, and four grams of protein. So, I don't know. For Dirty Keto, I think it's a pretty good win. All right, so there you go, guys. That's my mini haul. Um, I did do a Sam's Club shop earlier this week where I did load up on some things, so that's why I only needed to get a few of these things here. Um, not everything that I bought is here. There are some things I got for my kids. My kids are not fully keto. So you can see like I have some bananas here on the counter. I'm gonna be making into some pancakes for them and like apples and plums and other things like grapes. Um, so they are eating more of a whole foods uh, diet and I am eating more keto for health reasons and for weight loss. So, which is fine, but like, um, so you're probably sitting there going like, wow, geez, is that all you got for a family of five? It's not, but I just wanted to focus on what I was doing for myself. So if you would ever like to see a full grocery shop sometime, just leave a comment down below and I will let you know what we do in terms of a whole foods, um, a whole foods way of eating. So um, yeah, there are so many different ways that you can use all these goods, like the, um, you know, the eggs, you can do omelets, scrambles, boiled egg. You can make them into pancakes. You can make cake with them. You can do, there's so many different ways to utilize eggs. And I realize that um, egg isn't always something that everybody's into, but it is an option. I'm not super keen on eggs, but they have been helpful. So um, same thing with like the heavy whipping cream or like the cream cheese, things like that, um, you know, it's great for thing, making things like the cauliflower mash or like a soup or a sauce. So you kind of take it with a pinch, grain, of, grain, pinch of salt, grain of salt, grain, pinch. <laughs> Woo, okay. So anyway, um, like with the cabbage, I am just going to be taking some of that ground beef. I'm just gonna saute it all together and make it into um, just kind of a hash. Kind of like, um, there's like a German dish you can do that's the cabbage and the beef and stuff like that. Super flavorful and yummy. And then serve it with a side of steamed broccoli. It's lovely. So like I said, you know, you can do so many different things with um, the options that you have and that don't break the bank. So um, this whole haul here, plus the few options that I got for my kids, I spent $116 and that will last us, it really will. They're all full, um, they're all like belly filling good foods, you know, that's not something that, you know, you're gonna enjoy one minute and then the next minute you're hungry. So like it's sustainable in, in terms of that stuff, so. All right, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for your patience. I hope to do some more videos soon uh, regarding MS, some daily life, some family life, and all that good stuff, so. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll be in touch soon.